Stop, don't ever mix these oils. This mistake can destroy your engine fast. Watch to see why. Nearly 70% of car owners have swapped between 0W20 and 5W30 oil. They think it's harmless, just a different number on the bottle. But that small change can mean the difference between smooth performance and total engine failure. Each oil grade is designed for specific engine tolerances. Mixing them up throws everything off. Watch carefully. What you're about to learn can save your car, your engine, and thousands in repair costs. Number 7. Oil Viscosity Explained Motor oil might look the same when you pour it in, but how it flows makes all the difference between a smooth, quiet engine and one that sounds like it's gasping for life. The numbers on that bottle, like 0W20 or 5W30, tell you how thick or thin the oil gets at different temperatures. Thinner oil, like 0W20, flows quickly in cold weather. It keeps modern engines well lubricated right from startup. This helps with fuel efficiency and smoother running. Thicker oil, like 5W30, is better at handling heat. It holds its protective layer even when the engine's working hard. This fact is perfect for older cars or high temperature conditions. But that extra thickness also means a slight drop in mileage, usually around 1-3%. That's because the engine works harder to push it around. On the flip side, thinner oil can't always protect older engines with bigger internal clearances. That's where balance matters. Newer engines are built for precise oil flow. Using the wrong grade can mess with timing systems, emissions, or even long-term wear. So before topping up, check what your manufacturer recommends. The right viscosity keeps everything running smoother prevents expensive damage, and saves fuel over time. That's why understanding viscosity goes beyond the numbers on the label. Because even small changes can completely alter how an engine performs on the road. Number 6. How Oil Changes Engine Behavior Switching from 0W20 to 5W30 might sound like a small tweak, but it actually changes how an engine behaves in real-world driving. The difference comes down to viscosity, how thick the oil is under different conditions. Thicker oil, like 5W30, gives stronger protection when things heat up, but it also makes the engine work a little harder to move it around. That added resistance shows up as a 1-3% to drop in fuel economy. This can cost anywhere from $45 to $135 more per year, depending on how much you drive. Cold starts also take a hit, since thicker oil circulates slower when temperatures drop. That delay in lubrication can mean extra wear during those first few seconds after ignition. Drivers might notice a slight increase in engine noise, about 2-4 to four decibels, because thicker oil resists flow and transmits vibration differently. It can also affect how precisely the variable valve timing operates, since that system relies on steady oil pressure. Turbocharged engines feel it too, with thicker oil reducing cooling efficiency and bearing lubrication. Even the emission system isn't safe. Catalytic converters and PCV valves can behave differently when oil flow doesn't match what the engine was designed for. So, while 5W30 sounds like tougher protection, it's not always the smarter choice for engines built around thinner oil. Getting the viscosity right means smoother performance better mileage, and longer life for everything under the hood. This careful balance in viscosity is the very reason manufacturers obsess over oil type, shaping every engine around how that fluid behaves under pressure. Number 5. Why Manufacturers Care About Oil Type When car makers pick an oil grade, it's not guesswork. It's the result of years of testing, precision engineering, and tuning every detail around how that oil flows through the engine. Modern engines are designed with specific tolerances. This means even a small change in viscosity can throw off the balance between protection, performance, and fuel economy. Oils like 0W20 are built for newer engines that rely on tight clearances, advanced variable valve timing, and complex lubrication systems. 
using something thicker, like 5W30, might seem harmless, but it can interfere with fuel efficiency, emissions control, and even warranty coverage. Automakers tune every model with a specific oil in mind. Ignoring that can cost more than a few miles per gallon. For instance, Toyota and Lexus hybrids run best on 0W20 to maintain smooth hybrid transitions. Honda's Earth Dreams engines are engineered for 0W20 to meet fuel economy standards and protect valve timing precision. Ford's EcoBoost engines, on the other hand, thrive on 5W30 because of the heat and pressure that come with turbocharging. GM's direct injection engines also stick with 0W20 for cleaner combustion and fewer deposits. Even transmissions like Nissan's CVTS depend on specific oil grades. It is done to keep the system fluid and uncontaminated. And when it comes to high-end European brands, their engines demand oils tailored to exact viscosity specs for emissions and power management. So if the manufacturer recommends one type, it's not a suggestion. It's science built into the car. When that kind of precision meets real-world driving, it doesn't just shape performance, it also decides how much you'll end up paying over time. Before we dive into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get real, insightful tips on keeping your ride running smoother, longer, and smarter. Number 4. How Oil Choice Hits Your Wallet Picking the right motor oil doesn't just affect how your engine runs, it directly impacts your bank account. The difference between 0W20 and 5W30 might seem small on the bottle, but it can change how much you spend every year on fuel, maintenance, and even resale value. Thicker oil like 5W30 creates more internal friction. It means your engine burns slightly more fuel. For the average driver covering about 12,000 miles a year, that works out to roughly $45 to $135 extra spent annually. It might not sound huge at first, but over time, that adds up. Oil changes also play a role. 5W30 tends to be a few dollars cheaper per change. Some vehicles need those changes more frequently though, which can eat up the savings fast. Then there's warranty protection. Using the wrong viscosity can void engine coverage worth thousands. This can result in repairs that could easily hit five figures. The right oil, on the other hand, helps the engine last 15 to 25% longer. This saves you as much as $2,500 to $5,000 over its life by avoiding early wear or replacements. It even affects resale value. Cars with documented oil consistency can fetch $500 to $1,200 more when sold. That's simply because they show better maintenance history. And when your oil matches the manufacturer's specs, you get the best mix of fuel economy, performance, and reliability. When every dollar and mile counts, follow the rules experts use to choose the oil that truly fits. After all, when every dollar and engine mile counts. So it makes sense to lean on the same rules experts follow to pick the right oil. Number three, expert tips for choosing the right oil. When it comes to engine oil, professionals don't guess. They follow a set of tried and true principles that keep engines performing their best. Experts and automakers agree on one golden rule. Always start with what the manufacturer recommends. The owner's manual isn't just filler. It's based on lab testing, engineering tolerances, and warranty standards that keep your engine running the way it was designed to. From there, the right viscosity often depends on your driving environment. Older engines, for example, may benefit from slightly thicker oil to fill worn spaces and improve sealing. But newer engines rely on thinner oil for precise lubrication. It's also smart to keep an eye on performance changes after switching grades. Things like fuel economy, idle smoothness, or unusual engine noise can tell you if the new oil is really working for your setup. Certified oils with API or ILSAC ratings are always a safe bet. They meet strict quality and protection standards across all viscosities. 
And one of the most overlooked best practices is documentation. Tracking your oil changes, brand, and viscosity can make a big difference when it comes to maintaining warranty coverage or boosting resale value. These small habits keep your engine clean, efficient, and healthy for years. They save money and prevent those why is my car acting weird moments down the road. Still, even with the best guidelines in mind, some engines and environments call for bending the rules, and that's where thicker oil starts to earn its place. Number 2. When Thicker Oil Makes Sense While 0W20 is the go-to for most modern engines, there are situations where using 5W30 can actually make sense. It's not about breaking rules, it's about understanding when the trade-offs are worth it. In extremely hot climates or under heavy driving loads, thicker oil can provide better film strength and protection, especially when engines are pushed to higher temperatures. Older vehicles with worn seals or looser internal tolerances can also benefit from 5W30. It helps maintain oil pressure and reduces leaks. However, the switch shouldn't be made lightly. It's important to weigh the slight drop in fuel efficiency and potential warranty concerns against the added protection. Consulting your owner's manual or a certified mechanic before making that change ensures you're staying within safe limits. Done correctly, using 5W30 under the right conditions can extend engine life and performance without compromising reliability or long-term maintenance goals. Beyond performance and protection, every choice in oil thickness carries a ripple effect that reaches far beyond the engine itself and straight into the environment we all share. Number 1. How Oil Choice Affects the Planet Choosing the right oil grade is more than just about engine performance. It should take environmental responsibility into consideration. Studies show that lower viscosity oils like 0W20 reduce internal friction. It helps engines to operate with less effort. When an engine doesn't have to work as hard, it burns less fuel. Research from fleet management programs found that vehicles switching to thinner, manufacturer-recommended oils saw fuel consumption drop by nearly 1-2%. to That may sound minor for one car, but across millions of vehicles, it translates to huge reductions in total fuel burned and carbon emissions released into the atmosphere. Every smoother mile driven means a smaller environmental footprint. But balance is key. Oil that's too thin can lose its protective film, leading to increased wear, metal contact, and premature repairs. And every rebuild or replacement part carries its own environmental toll. More materials, more energy, and more waste. Engineers design specific oil viscosities to strike that perfect balance between efficiency and protection. For engines built for 0W20, switching to a thicker oil like 5W30 can actually work against sustainability goals. It may offer a sense of extra safety, but the added resistance increases fuel use, emissions, and long-term strain on the system. Over the lifetime of a car, that small difference compounds into a measurable impact on both the wallet and the planet. Sticking with the manufacturer's recommended viscosity ensures the engine runs efficiently and stays protected. Additionally, it plays its part in lowering emissions and conserving energy resources. And that's a wrap. The real story behind oil grades, engine health, and their impact on the planet. Did this video help clear things up? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And wait, don't leave yet. The next video could be the one thing standing between your engine and a $1,000 repair bill. Click it now before that next oil change costs you everything.